getting Big Macs out of our teeth. That was so <laughs> delicious. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. So much. Yeah, I know. I know. We do. Well, today, Orly Shani is going to be making DIY baby pants from T-shirts that you already have in your closet. You showed us in the beginning yeah. how cute they oh, are. Oh, my God. I know. This is such a, this is a really good time. And they're, it's very, very easy. <gasps> There's oh. my little oh. Who are we so, looking at? So that's Connor, Connor and Blake. And they're uh -huh. both wearing, obviously, I did his pants out of that Padres T-shirt. And I did that one out of, like, a little thermal that I had. So you can use men's and women's T-shirts to do wow. this. It's really easy. Um, so just real quick, the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need, obviously, the shirt that you're going to actually make it out of. You want a pair of pants that fit your child now that you can use as a pattern because you're going to trace right off of those okay. pants. Next, you're going to need some pins uh, to pin everything down, elastic, scissors, and a sewing machine. This is going to be a sewing project. Okay. Um, so I'll show you guys really quickly kind of how to do this. Now, if you're using a shirt that's smaller, like a women's shirt, mm -hmm. the fantastic part about it is that you get to utilize the side seams that are already oh, here. Okay. So that cuts out one whole step. Oh. So if you take a look, um, I have a photo of how I stepped out one of these. You're going to cut the top off. So that gives you a perfect rectangle. Now, next, you're going to fold the shirt in half and lay your pants on it so that you can see where that little U shape is for the legs. Mm -hmm. So then you cut that out, and then you're going to pin that close. So you pin, uh, you fold down the waistband to pin it, and you pin around the leg. And that's all that you have to sew, and this is how those come out. Wow. And so these side seams right here were the side seam of the oh, shirt, the shirt on the and side. the hem yeah. was the hem of the shirt. Oh, that's so very little sewing. Now, if you want to use something like this, which is a little bit bigger, you're gonna first you're gonna pick out your placement where you want the Texas football. So we have one here. The Padres one is down the leg. The Irish mm -hmm. one is on the bum. So let's just say you wanted it straight down. You would just kind of go like this and be like, okay, that's right on the butt. And that's how you would do it, and you would cut one inch around and all the way down. Now, if you wanted to do it sideways, which we're going to do real oh, quick, like, then you go this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just make sure when you're doing it, you know, you need about an inch. So try to center this so that you have that on either side. So then you don't need to really trace this. You don't need to anything. Just come like this. I bought new scissors, by the way. Oh, I nice. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Actually. And you go like this and all the way around. And then I want you guys to take a look at some of the work that we did earlier this morning. This is going to show you the basic gist of how we get these done. So once you cut it out, then you're going to start sewing. Okay. Then you're going to start sewing. Um, you're going to go and just follow all of your pins. Obviously, you're going to do your side seams right around the center of the leg. Um, if you don't know how to sew, I would recommend doing the one off of a, a parent's t-shirt. I mean, a smaller t-shirt because you could hand sew that, yeah. that less amount. Now, in order to do a waistband, you're going to fold it over just as much as you need for your elastic, whatever size elastic you chose. So you're going to fold that over and pin that waistband down. Go all the way around and leave yourself a gap because you're going to run the elastic through that gap. Here, okay. So now we've left ourselves a gap. Measure off of the pants that you're using, you know, whatever your pattern is. Measure the elastic so you know how much to use. Mm -hmm. Cut it and put a really big safety pin a really big safety pin and you're gonna feed it straight through the waistband. This is a really easy way. You know, just kind of smush and slide, smush and slide all the way through. When you come through the other end, that tiny opening that you have, which is why you left it there to begin with. See, now we have both edges and now you're just gonna sew those two parts of the elastic together so that we close the waistband. Yeah. So that's just, you know, this is obviously, for most, anyone knows I sew, this is like really redundant. Stretch it out, and you see that little gap. That's our opening. You just have to sew that opening closed. This is such a trendy cut. You could do this with two blankets for grown-up pants. Right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. of how I can make and these. Yeah, now so <laughs> and that's it. That's all that you need right there. Yes. Right? <laughs> just it two is. blankets, and because I can that is some a drop. So, yeah. <laughs> so what? What the most important thing really is choosing your placement and the simple sewing of it. And what's really great is that if you choose to do them really long, like let's mm -hmm. say these are a little bit long for Connor, these are like so yummy and zhuzhy that you just kind of roll them. Yeah. You know, yeah. roll them up and let them be really slouchy. And then as they get bigger, yeah. you just oh, let them, you know, longer. keep on rolling them down. So for now, this will fit him when he's kind of tiny and toddy. And then you keep unrolling them 
for as they yeah. get older. You kind of just can you take these and make maybe a little hat for your daughter or a little band to keep this. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. You can use um, yeah. like you know what's really easy. I don't know if we have time. Next really week quickly, on the show, I'm gonna you do make this. Something out of yeah, you, get, choker. you can make or you can make a, I mean, a little hat headband. from it too. You mm -hmm. can make a brooch. And these yeah, cost the only they thing that this costs. Oh, look at you, madam. Oh, look. So if you want to do this, by the way, really awesome. Take the hem. There. Yeah. Take the bottom. Right. Cut this off. <laughs> Twist it and go like this, and it's a turban head. <gasps> oh, Stop yeah. it. I love that. Oh, oh my God. God. Stop it. I don't want to ruin my braid, but. Oh, no, it's so you. cute with the braid. Oh, I'll flip it over. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Head over to our Pinterest page. Some wonderful ideas. Orly has some great stuff. Follow her on her Twitter, <laughs> social media. I really it's there uh, at OrlyShanny.com. Really, or Orly Shanny. And we're going to come back, and our lady with the nose for news is up next. Kristen? <laughs> yeah, speaking of social media, I've been perusing the trending topics on social media, and I've got one that will inspire you. Next. Is it this one?